Hello YouTubers! Today I'm going to make a review of uh, these two beauties from Vetterlings. It's the 118 and the, the Stroud Hex. I used them both for uh, a while now and uh, I'll tell you my opinion upon them. So let's head in through the forest and I'll uh, show you. Hello YouTube, today I'm going to take a look at uh, two axes, uh, it's the Vetterlings axis, the 118 and the new uh, the Strout axe. Uh, they are similar in size but then again look very different as you can tell so I'm going to do a comparison which one to choose the two axes are uh, weighing at uh, almost exactly the same just around uh, 1200 grams, 1 1.2 kilos, and uh, but that's just where the similarities uh, stop because, as you see, uh, on the leaf trout, there's uh, there's been added a the face of a hammer or bane, as you call it in Danish, so you can pound in nails with this, or an uh, iron wedge, for instance. You should never, ever, ever use the back of a very traditional axe to hammer in anything made of iron. And you shouldn't ever, ever hammer on the back of a traditional axe. This one, though, uh, I think can take uh, quite a beating. It's been hardened like you would a hammer. Although, that being said, the only thing I hammer out here, or bushcrafting, or anything, that would be wooden tent packs, for instance. Or maybe I would be hitting the back of my axe with a stick. And there's no chance that that would harm uh, either of them. And uh, on the traditional axe, I have a, a greater hitting surface. But I'm not quite sure about this. Uh, which leads me to think that the, the Strout design is a uh, is an attempt to make a, a one-tool solution, which which isn't bad. You can see there's a much wider cutting surface on the on the, the Strout, and the the beard of the axe uh, goes further back. So the extra cutting surface is here, towards the handle. Which means, you can grab it like this, and use it for uh, cutting, like you would with your uh, heavy knife or uh, uh, machete or whatever. So it's, 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 it's mainly for that, that you have a... Uh, uh, Again, talking about a, a one-tool solution, you don't have to bring the, the heavy-duty knife. Uh, this will do the job. You can do the same with the traditional axe, but uh, it's it's not not as comfortable to grip because it's not made for it, and you have less cutting surface. Now, why it's it's more comfortable gripping this because 
the handle shape is very different. If I do like this, you can see it. The Listroud is, is almost, uh, well, it's elliptical, of course, but it's way more round than the traditional axe. The eye is very, very long and stretched. And on the traditional axe, right here, it almost comes to an, to an edge. It's, it's almost sharp. Where on the Listroud, it's very round. This is good for the uh, the cutting motion, but I find when chopping, using the axe as an axe, uh, I f I find it um, I find it not good for the the feel of the direction of the axe. Uh, I can't exactly feel the angle of the axe. It's way more precise with this very flat shape handle so I find this more precise for chopping hmm difficult difficult They both, both chop very well. Very, very, they bite very good. They don't get stuck. The difference is, the main difference is again, <clears throat> in the design, the Listrout, uh, the head is, it doesn't feel as, as heavy. Uh, and I think, therefore, the handle is uh, it's longer. It's it's uh, the overall design is more, um, well, almost tomahawk-like. Uh, Compare, for instance, to the uh, cold steel uh, trade hawk. It, it 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 reminds of this the design, although the the way the uh, the head is uh, uh, mounted to the handle is is what you would do to to an axe same way with a wedge but the longer handle gives a, of course a, a lot more uh, a swing the speed of the the head when it hits the wood uh, will be greater the the shorter 118 uh, for four centimeters shorter maybe it feels like there's more, um, how do you say it, more oomph to it. Uh, it's, it's more like a dead blow. Uh, they both accomplish the task uh, equally uh, well. Uh, although I, I prefer the feel of the 118. And I think it's because I'm used to to, to, to tra traditional axes. Uh, I, I simply like the, f the feel of the, the, the dead blow, the, the, the precise feeling for uh, the direction because of the rather flat uh, handle. Uh, although I do like the slightly longer handle, it gives uh, a good swing. Um, Although, as you saw earlier, they easily fit into a backpack, but the, the longer handle, I, will, I would presume, would, would, for me anyway, be a bit annoying doing smaller tasks. Hmm. Very difficult decision.
both axes are uh, can also be used for uh, splitting wood. I've used them both for split, uh, splitting uh, rather large pieces of wood, dry uh, different kinds of dry wood, green wood, and uh, they both perform perform uh, quite well. Uh, although they they aren't meant for uh, giant logs. Uh, they are more like for uh, smaller uh, firewood and kindling and stuff like that. But you can chop down uh, rather large trees and cut the limbs off and, and make real firewood with them. Uh, they're not. Uh, they're not. They're definitely not toys. Definitely not. It's, they're well built. Now for splitting. The interesting part is how they wedge the wood apart, this shape, and it's almost exactly the same, almost the same. And uh, it feels the same, uh, although well, it's, it's not in my experience, but in, in theory, this would uh, split uh, maybe a bit better because you have uh, less surface uh, going through the wood. Uh, well, I don't feel the, any difference. Uh, not with the smaller wood like this. or larger wood, as I have tried extensively earlier. And they, they have a very nice uh, wedge shape that can easily split almost anything. Uh, the biggest difference comes when we try to use them as a cutting tool or instead of a, a large knife for for instance making uh, feather sticks now the 118 as i told you before it's not as comfortable to hold if i put my thumb up here it can be used to make for instance feather sticks and both axes are made from extremely good steel uh, they take a very good edge they have a very good edge retention and they are easily put back into shape if they dull now cutting with this it's simply more comfortable you see i put my thumb up here but that's just a habit you can actually hold it like this as if it was a large knife and you can quite comfortably use it for cutting. Now this is where, in my opinion, the, the biggest difference are. This is, is uh, quite a bit better for feather sticks and stuff like that. Uh, stepping uh, in instead of a large knife, for instance. And that's a big plus. On the, the 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 minus or the plus for the 118 is the traditional shape of the handle, which I prefer. Uh, this can be just uh, habit because that's what I'm used to. Uh, I think if you if you have or have used uh, tomahawks. Uh, I know uh, most of you guys living in uh, North America have. Uh, I actually think you would prefer this one. Uh, or if uh, you're out to buy your first uh, quality axe for camping, hiking, bushcrafting, and, uh, and you are looking for a size like this, uh, 
you could choose either one. Uh, but if you want, like the one tool solution and want to leave the big knife at home or something like that, well, give this a try, definitely. I think I would, I will choose this one simply because uh, I think it's because uh, because of the traditional uh, design and handle which I'm more comfortable with and uh, you don't want to spend a lot of money on a really good tool that you're not comfortable with so for me anyway the 118 would be the one I choose for you it might be the, uh, the Stroud if you have a chance to try it out or borrow uh, it from someone, you should definitely give it a try. It's it's, uh, it's very interesting new design. It really is. So, for me anyway, the 118 will be the one I choose. Uh, but I would definitely recommend both of them, and on the any circumstances, I can say that uh, access from Betterlinks, like these two, they are very good quality, they are very well made, even the, the handle, you see the grain orientation, they are uh, they're perfect, it goes all the way through, uh, good for both of them, they are very very well made. Uh, I'll put a link uh, down below. Why I get these, and uh, if you have uh, any uh, suggestions to access that could step in instead of these, or you have experience with uh, Vetterlinks access, or even maybe have uh, more long-term experience with the uh, Stroud X, let me hear about it.